Welcome back to Mary's Eclectic Interests. My name is Mary. After listening to Susan Gaynan's Mosaic Horse Story, I was inspired to create my own mosaic horse, not just any horse, but a Morgan horse. Stay tuned for my first mosaic adventure, along with a story about a true adventurer, Buffalo Bill Cody, and his famous Pony Express ride on America's horse, the Morgan horse, one of the earliest horse breeds in the United States. Right now, let's make our very own mosaic. This project is for older children and adults. The only materials you'll need are as follows. A scissor, glue, I used a glue stick, ruler, pencil, and paper. I used cardstock, but you can use just about anything that's around the house. At the end are two optional tools, a seam ripper, sharp and not for children, and a tweezers to move small squares of paper around or you can just use your fingers. I use the seam ripper because I have trouble manipulating tweezers. The first thing you'll need to do is trace and cut out a form you'd like to make into a mosaic, which in my case is a Morgan horse. If you don't want to cut out your drawing, you don't have to. I prefer to cut mine out so I could trim squares that go outside the lines. So this is cut on 8.5 by 11 inch cardstock. The next thing needed will be paper cut into different sizes. Scrapbook paper, construction paper, magazines, or instead of paper, you could use scraps of material. You can also color in squares with color crayons, color pencils, or color markers. Use your imagination to create your own mosaic artwork. What you don't see is that I've used an older paper shredder that makes one quarter inch strips. And last, two sheets of scrapbook paper. Now let's get started and make our very own mosaic. I'm going to read a story from a book titled America's Own, A Celebration of America and Its Horse While Constructing My Mosaic. It's a story famous in the state of Missouri, a story involving Buffalo Bill Cody, the Pony Express, and America's earliest breed of horse, the Morgan. For those unfamiliar with the Pony Express, it was a mail delivery system created in 1860 prior to the telegraph or the railroad connecting America's east and west coast. It was only in existence for 18 months. Here is a condensed version of Missouri's story from America's Own, titled, Buffalo Bill Delivers, 21 Hours, 21 Morgans, One Pony Express Adventure. The Pony Express advertised for young, skinny, wiry fellows not over 18, must be expert riders willing to risk death daily, orphans preferred. One of the riders, Bill Cody, age 15, decided this was the perfect job for him, and he ended up going down in history for something he had to do. He had to deliver the mail. Still in its infancy, the Pony Express was not for the faint of heart. Indian attacks on riders were becoming more and more frequent, and the dangers along the route were steadily increasing. Driven by the excitement of the adventure, Bill ignored the perils of the open prairie, welcoming the opportunity to carry out some grand task on so fine a horse. A short sprint to his final relay station was all that remained for that day's work, but the young rider had no idea he was about to make history. He pulled out his bugle and began signaling his arrival to the three crossing station, but when no replacement came out to meet him, Bill dismounted hastily and ran to the station. Where is he? Bill asked nobody in particular as he threw open the station door. Dead, came the short reply from inside. 
Got into a drunken fight last night and got himself killed. Ain't nobody here to ride. He may have looked like a mere boy, but Bill Cody understood the responsibilities of a man. He didn't hesitate. Get the next horse, he ordered the station manager before dashing outside to grab the mail pouch. What are you doing? asked the manager. Finishing the job. Bill hauled the leather pouch and saddle of his Morgan and quickly threw them onto the next one the manager brought from the stables. Shaking off exhaustion from the previous 76 miles, he swung into the saddle, clicked his tongue to the fresh Morgan, and took off for Rocky Ridge Station 85 miles away without even so much as pausing to catch his breath. Cody completed the delivery to Rocky Ridge on schedule and then began the long journey back to his home post of Red Buttes. By the time he arrived, he had completed the longest round-trip run of the Pony Express had seen to date, 322 miles in 21 hours and 40 minutes, using 21 different Morgans. It was an accomplishment that would never be matched over that difficult terrain and until his death, it remained one of Buffalo Bill's proudest achievements. 2,000 miles in 10 days. That was the ultimate goal of the Pony Express, an uncanny feat in that era. But it was a feat that riders and horses seldom failed to accomplish. And thanks to the courage and dedication of boys like Bill Cody and the sheer strength of the horses, they often beat that time by a full 24 hours. Well, here's my Morgan horse mosaic. And now, a little background about the Morgan horses from America's own Vermont's gift figure, the horse that changed America. In 1789, a runt of a horse was born in the state of Vermont named Figure. He became the property of Justin Morgan. Because Morgan rented Figure out as a workhorse, he became known as Morgan's horse. Figure became the father of a new breed of horse that built, shaped, and changed America's history time and time again. It's amazing to examine the parallels of America and the American Morgan horse. For on the back of this horse, the story of this country can be told. The Morgan helped establish the new nation in the East and was a trusted horse of pioneers in forging a path to the West. I hope you've enjoyed the show and thank you for watching Mary's Eclectic Interests. Mm -hmm.